Hello YouTube. This is the second part of my blog talking about the treatments and what has worked for me, what, what hasn't worked for me for the skin condition of keratosis polaris. Again, I've had KP for about eight or nine years and I grew up with it during uh, my teenage years and late childhood. I've been made fun of a lot from it and it's basically an eyesore. I don't have any itching from it but I just want it to go away. Um, I talked to dermatologists and they said eventually um, KP will go away on its own, but it's just getting worse and spreading all over my body. When I say everywhere, it's everywhere. It's not good. Creams and treatments. Well, when you go to the dermatologist, they will tell you to exfoliate and they'll probably give you a lac hydrogen cream, which will moisturize your skin and exfoliate it. Again, that is the cream which is like around $100 a bottle and most people don't find that it works. They also might give you Retin-A and I just went off of that and it made my skin very red and you can still see how red it still is. And it did make my skin smooth but if it's just making it even more red, it's making it look worse. I also have psoriasis and eczema patches. and I've tried using some of the creams on my arms, not in big areas, but in sample areas, and I found that one cream actually um, discolors my skin, and it's for psoriasis, and it takes away the redness, but right now I'm experimenting in small patches to see what happens when I put it on some areas where I do have a lot of redness. Um, people who do have KP are known to have vitamin A problems, and vitamin A is good for you because it helps, you know, have clear skin. <coughs> um, I tried a um, vitamin A and flax omega-3 diet. I put a little bit of flax oil on my skin, but I found, you know, if you didn't wear a long sleeve shirt to bed, it made my sheets stink after one day and it, it smelled very rancid so it wasn't very good to put the oil on your skin if you didn't want to, you know, you want to smell. But I found that using the flaxseed I did have clear skin. It wasn't pure clear but it seemed to help more in my acne than my keratosis polaris. I tried introducing more vitamin A into my diet but not seeing a significant change after a couple months of completely changing my diet. The dermatologist will tell you to exfoliate your skin. Now you don't want to do this too often because you don't want to make your skin even more red. So you only want to do it maybe twice a week but only very lightly. You can use a pumice stone or a lufus sponge. You can find that at your grocery store. You want to moisturize your skin right after bathing because that's when your skin absorbs most of the lotion. And Dove makes an in-shower body lotion. Um, <coughs> I found that to keep my skin very smooth, but it didn't help with the redness. Um, you can also use greasy lo lotions like Lubriderm or Vaseline. I found usually helps to make it smooth, but it's mostly the I'm having problems with the redness, so that's why I'm experimenting with this new cream. Um, Neutrogena, they make a vitamin A facial moisturizer cream that does seem to help a little bit with it. Um, I ran out of it before I could continue on with it long enough, so I'm going to eventually try that again. And the thing is, when you do try different treatments for a KP, you want to make sure you're consistent and you want to continue it. Because sometimes it might take months and months to see progress. Um, eventually, I will go away on its own. But this is the end of this blog. I want you to keep in touch. I'm going to give a couple more blogs coming up in the next few weeks about other things you can try for KP.